Hi, my name is Jordan Dolman, and I'm a product manager here at Amazon Web Services. In this session, we'll be talking about Amazon FSx for Lustre, a fully managed high-performance storage service, and how you can use it to support your HPC workloads. FSx for Lustre is one of several services enabling HPC workloads on the AWS cloud today. In particular, many of our customers use Parallel Cluster as an orchestration service to spin up compute and storage resources. So who are these FSx for Lustre customers? Well, FSx for Lustre customers are any customers that need to provide high-performance shared storage for their compute resources. Example workloads include traditional HPC workloads, such as genome analysis and financial simulations, and workloads that fall outside of traditional HPC applications, like visual effects video rendering and training ML models for autonomous vehicle object detection. And we're seeing the demand for high-performance storage grow along with the growth in big data analytics, machine learning, and high-performance computing. So why does high-performance storage matter? Well, one of the primary benefits of cloud computing is the ability to process massive amounts of data in parallel using elastic compute resources. To support these compute clusters, storage resources need equally scalable performance. Without sufficient storage performance, compute resources are left idle waiting for new data to arrive. High-performance storage prevents these system bottlenecks so that you can reduce workload runtimes, accelerate business insights, and of course, save on compute costs. Let's take a look at an example. The Water Institute of the Gulf runs its storm surge and wave analysis models on Amazon Web Services. These models are critical in forecasting hurricane storm surge events, evaluating flood risk for Louisiana, helping governments prepare for future conditions, and managing the coast proactively. In this application, simulations could run in parallel, meaning that the time to insight depended primarily on the supply of compute resources and sufficient storage performance to keep up. The Water Institute used AWS EC2 spot resources to meet their compute needs and FSx for Lustre to keep these instances busy and filled with data. In the end, they managed to reduce their workload runtime from around three months to three and a half days. Jumping across the ocean, Ineos Team UK used several of AWS's HPC services, including Elastic Fabric Adapter and C5N EC2 compute instances to run thousands of simulations during the design process for their boat foil. In this case, the team chose Amazon S3 as their primary data store and augmented their storage performance by using FSx for Lustre to provide lower latency file operations. In this case, the ability to run their workloads faster allowed them to iterate on their design more frequently. Now coming back to weather forecasting, Maxar developed an HPC solution orchestrated by Parallel Cluster that uses FSx for Lustre to provide short-term scratch storage for over 10,000 EC2 compute cores. By running on AWS, Maxar is able to reduce their workload runtime by 58% compared to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration supercomputer. And since they spin down resources in between workloads, they're also able to achieve significant cost savings. Now that we've had a chance to dive into some examples, let's go deeper on Amazon FSx for Lustre, which we designed to provide fast, simple, cost-effective storage for these compute workloads. Now, fast is a relative term, but for applications in need of speed, FSx for Lustre can scale up to hundreds of gigabytes per second of throughput and millions of IOPS, while maintaining sub-millisecond latencies. This means that you can mount hundreds of thousands of EC2 compute cores to a single file system and keep up with the high demand for shared data. We also designed FSx for Lustre to be simple to use. In just a few minutes, you can spin up a Lustre file system, and because FSx provides a fully managed service, we take care of routine maintenance and security updates. We've also added support to make it easier to access data on Amazon S3. Finally, we believe that high performance storage doesn't need to be high cost. So we provide a range of FSx file system options so that you can choose the right price and performance for your application needs. Let's take a closer look at performance. As the name suggests, 
FSX for Lustre is based on Lustre, the world's most popular high-performance file system. And generally speaking, Lustre file systems are designed so that as you add additional storage capacity, you also add additional throughput capacity. The graph on this slide illustrates this effect and how our customers provision FSX for Lustre file systems. At the lower end of the scale, you can see an example of a 10 terabyte file system with two gigabytes per second of baseline throughput, tens of thousands of IOPS, and submillisecond latencies. On the upper end of the graph, you can see our customers who provision around a pebabyte of storage also provision around two gigabytes per second of throughput and millions of IOPS with the same sub-millisecond latencies. These throughput numbers are not only achievable, but also the low end of what these file systems can deliver. These file systems also provide even higher network throughput, which allows data stored in the storage server RAM to achieve up to six times higher throughput for short periods of time. As you saw earlier in the customer examples, FSX for Lustre can be deployed in a number of different ways depending on the needs of your HPC workload. In the most simple case, FSX for Lustre can be provisioned as a standalone file system mounted on your compute cluster. In this configuration, customers often choose to take advantage of the native backups feature for additional data protection. Backups are created in just a few seconds and are incremental, so they only capture changes since the prior backup was taken. Backup data is also transferred to multiple availability zones using incremental throughput beyond what's been provisioned on the file system, which means that your workloads can proceed uninterrupted. Finally, some customers choose to keep their data on-premises, but still want access to compute resources available on AWS. These customers will typically VPN or direct connect to AWS, mount their FSx for Lustre file system to resources on-premises, and simply copy the data to FSX so that it's readily available for their EC2 instances. Since FSX for Lustre is co-located within the same availability zone as these EC2 resources, their workloads can run with the same sub-millisecond latencies, and then workload results can be easily copied back to on-premises storage once the application is complete. One customer that makes use of the S3 integration is Toyota Research Institute, or TRI. TRI is developing machine learning models for object detection in autonomous vehicles. And training these models requires powerful GPUs supported, once again, by high-performance storage. In this case, TRI creates short-lived scratch file systems linked to data stored on Amazon S3. When it's time to train or update a model, TRI can spin up an FSX file system and seamlessly retrieve data from S3. When the workload's complete, they can just as easily shut down the file system along with the GPU resources. Let's take a closer look at how the S3 integration actually works. As you can see, we've created an FSX for Lustre file system and linked it to an Amazon S3 bucket, which contains a number of different files. Once the file system is linked, the metadata for each of these files is loaded into FSX for Lustre so that they appear as though they're files on the file system. As new objects are added to your Amazon S3 bucket, you can choose to set up Amazon FSX for Lustre so that these new objects are also imported and once again represented as files on Amazon FSX for Lustre file systems. Typically, throughout the course of running a workload, New files will be created on the file system, and older files will be modified. FSx for Lustre also comes with an export API to easily detect these changes and push them back to Amazon S3 on demand. In this configuration, since Amazon S3 is serving as your primary data store, you can easily spin down your FSx for Lustre file system along with your compute resources in order to save on cost in between running your workloads. Another benefit of S3 linked file systems is the ability to create an FSx for Lustre file system linked to an Amazon S3 bucket in multiple availability zones. As you can see on this slide, I've linked two different FSx for Lustre file systems, each in a different availability zone, to the same Amazon S3 bucket. By doing that, 
I create a single source of truth with Amazon S3, and I allow compute instances in each availability zone to access the same set of data through high-performance file storage. As nice as it is to talk about our S3 integration, there's nothing quite like seeing it in action, so I'm going to walk through a short demo. We'll start by taking a look at an Amazon S3 bucket, which contains a single file, which is actually the PowerPoint file that I'm using for this presentation. Now I'm going to switch over to my FSX console, where I've already created a file system that's linked to this same Amazon S3 bucket. All that's left to do at this point is to pull up an EC2 instance and mount the file system so that we can see the contents. As expected, you can see the demo file object is now presented as a file on the file system. It's worth noting that the data for this file has not yet been loaded onto the file system. File data is actually loaded as it's requested from clients who have mounted the file system. Now let's go back to Amazon S3 and see what happens when we add a new object to our S3 bucket. In this case, I've configured my FSX for Lustre file system to automatically import any new objects as soon as they've arrived within my Amazon S3 bucket. You can also choose to configure your file system so that only changes to existing objects in S3 are automatically imported into your file system, or so that no new changes from Amazon S3 are imported into your file system. Now I'm going to speed up the upload a little bit and then come back to real time for the end. You can see I've been listing the files uh, on the file system throughout the upload. And then just after the upload completes to Amazon S3, within a couple seconds, you can see the object now appears as though it's another file on the file system. Now that we've had a chance to walk through the S3 integration, let's take a look at the different FSX for Lustre file system options. Starting off, we have our HDD persistent storage. These file systems use mirrored hard drive disks for low cost data storage. And these data storage is complemented by solid state disks to handle the metadata file operations, which represent the majority of all file system operations. HDD file systems can also optionally be configured with an additional 20% of storage in SSD cache storage to improve performance for frequently accessed files. HDD file systems are ideally suited for longer term throughput focused workloads. Next we have SSD persistent storage. These file systems use SSD storage for both the metadata and the data storage of the file system. Once again, data is replicated across multiple disks. SSD persistent file systems are optimized for longer term, latency sensitive or IOPS focused workloads, or for workloads that just need to build up large amounts of aggregate throughput at the lowest cost per megabyte per second. On a persistent file system, if a file server becomes unavailable, it's replaced automatically within minutes. In the meantime, client requests for data on that server transparently retry and eventually succeed after the file server is replaced. With persistent file systems, Data is replicated on disks, and any failed disks are also automatically replaced behind the scenes transparently. Lastly, we offer Scratch SSD file systems, which offer the same performance as SSD persistent file systems, but are instead designed for short-term workloads. On Scratch file systems, file servers are not replaced if they fail, and data, as you see here, is not replicated. As you can see in the table here, Performance on these file systems ranges from 12 megabytes per second per tabibyte of storage on our HDD persistent offering, all the way up to 200 megabytes per second per tabibyte on our SSD persistent and scratch offerings. You can also see that pricing starts at two and a half cents per gigabyte per month on the low end and goes up to 29 cents per gigabyte per month in the high end. Each of these price points provides a high-performance FSX for Lustre file system that's capable of building up large amounts of aggregate throughput. Down at the bottom, you can see our SSD Scratch offering, 
Now I mentioned before that SSD Scratch provides similar performance to SSD Persistent. And you can see that within the last two rows of the table where they each provide 200 megabytes per second per tebabyte. And the trade-off for having the single copy of the disks on Scratch storage is the fact that we can cut the price roughly by 50% for Scratch storage. This is incredibly popular for customers who use S3 linked file systems, where S3 represents their permanent data store and FSx for Lustre file systems are used to accelerate performance or short-term workloads. With Amazon FSx for Lustre, you only pay for provision storage. There are no additional request costs or fees. If we take a look at the SSD file systems in particular, and we change the representation of our storage pricing to be in throughput terms, in megabytes per second, you can see that on SSD Persistent, we start at around $2.87 per month per megabyte per second, and we drop down as low as $0.72 cents per megabyte per second per month. So we provide cost-effective storage, cost-effective throughput, and on top of that, you always have the ability to spin down your file system to save on cost in between workloads. This is the approach taken by Hive VFX, an AWS customer who operates a cloud-based visual effects studio. Hive VFX spins up FSx for Lustre file systems to accommodate demand for additional user storage and then spins down capacity that's no longer needed. For those of you who are looking to get started with FSx for Lustre, it's worth noting that we offer a number of different integrations with existing AWS services. I've already talked about the S3 integration, but you can also easily mount FSx for Lustre file systems in workloads that are being orchestrated by EKS, Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service, AWS Parallel Cluster, and AWS Batch. You can also target FSx for Lustre to serve as storage for your machine learning workloads using Amazon SageMaker. FSx for Lustre is now available in 17 regions worldwide, and we've also continued to add new features and capabilities to the FSx for Lustre service since we launched at reInvent in 2018. And I'm proud to say that nearly all of the features launched on this slide were in response to direct feedback from our customers, and our engineering team is hard at work getting ready to release the next set of new features. With that, I encourage you to log into your AWS account, create your first FSx for Lustre file system, and provide any feedback that you might have on the service.